Hey, it's BGV, and welcome back to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, ladies and gentlemen. In the last episode, we embarked on our main quest yet again. Uh, let's take a look at what it is. The Throat of the World. With Esbern's help, I've deciphered Alduin's wall in Skyhaven Temple. It revealed that Alduin was defeated in ancient times by a shout of some kind. Arngear knew the name of the shout, Dragonrend, but could not teach it to me. However, he has agreed to show me the way to reach Parthenax, the Greybeard's leader who lives at the top of the Throat of the World. Arngear says that Parthenax Parthenax is the only one who may know this Dragonrend shout, and Dragonrend will make Alduin come to our level. Stop flying around. It's kind of funny that that's like the key to defeating Alduin is literally like making, like clipping his wings. Uh, like he's still, I mean, dragons already do that. They already land, but you get the point. Use the clear sky shout to open the path. We have the clear sky shout activated, and if we use it, no! the wind is destroyed. Or dissipated. You can't really destroy wind, right? I don't know. I am not one to talk about science and, and things with. Uh, so we're going to move forward. The Clear Sky Shout is available to us again, but it doesn't look like we need to use it. Ah! Although it ah! seems like it is damaging me. Uh, let's grab Incinerate because I want to ah! kill any ghosts along the way. Oh, ah! man. See you later. <laughs> Okay, let's use it again here. Obviously, the wind is a flurry. Oh, dang it. Really? Okay, come on. Oh, wow, that works. Oh, we don't even have to use the full shout? Okay, then what's the point of... Oh, hi. Bye. Didn't realize there would be enemies up here, but that's fine. I can I could use the destru uh, destruction training as well. We're taking, like, little bits of damage here and there. What do we have over... No! Can I, like, get rid of that fog? Oh, look at that. We can. Okay, cool what we're dealing with. And we're dealing with a frost troll that's gonna die in one hit. Silly frost troll. Also, the clear skies shout, as you can see, recharges ah! very, very, very quickly. And our character here <laughs> seems to exclaim all the time as if we're being hurt. I think I mentioned this already, but we're not getting hurt, actually. If we get another destruction, uh, destruction level up, why do I keep mispronouncing things? What's happening? I've made this point before. It's like you would think... As you talk about things more, as you as you commentate more in the Let's Play form, you would think you would get better, but it seems like it gets worse. It's all in my head, though. I'm doing good. I'm I'm doing good. I need to text my mom and and have her reassure me that I'm no. that I'm amazing. One time, I, I and the reason I'm saying that is because one time. One time on stream when we were playing uh, Life is Strange, I couldn't figure out a puzzle, I think, for a long time, and I finally figured it out. And my mom was already texting me about some family thing, and I had the text, and I said, I'm going to ask my mom if, if she thinks... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask my mom if I'm smart, because the whole chat was making fun of me that I couldn't figure out the puzzle. And so I was like, Mom, am I smart? And she said, yes, of course, honey, you're very smart. And then I showed the chat. It was funny. That's the joke I was trying to allude to, but I realize you guys don't know that joke if you haven't seen the stream. And if you haven't seen the stream, you need to see a doctor, man. Because, like, wh wh what else are you crying? Wh what, what else you doing, huh? You're watching this video. Oh, so you can watch a 30-minute Skyrim video, but you can't watch the stream? Huh? Just kidding. No guilt trip. I'm just kidding. I know people are busy. Some people don't like streams. I get it. It's, it's fun. It's okay. It's all right. But it's a good stream. You should check it out sometime. <laughs> Okay, that's the final stream plug. For this episode, anyways. No! In the meantime, get out of here! Harsh winds. Okay, we're about to reach the summit, it looks like. I'm gonna put my incinerate away. Let's meet this Parthenax. There's the throat of the world. We have a wall. Very interesting. Dremulok. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? I think you already know who I am. Yes, Vaza. You speak true, Dovakin. Forgive me. It has been long since I held Tinvak with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. Why live alone on a mountain if you love conversation? Evenar Balok, there are many hungers it is better to deny than to feed. 
Drechni Nakib. Discipline against the lesser aids in Kachnar, denial of the greater. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I need to learn the Dragon Wren shout. Can you teach me? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my Thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dova King. So y'all can just like flip a switch and give me parts of your soul? Like what's what's going on with that? That's kind of unnerving. Uh, this dragon wants me to use fire on him. Uh, fire breath. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's... I was like, yeah, is that a different shout entirely? No, I, there's already a fire breath shout, of course. Uh, I guess we'll unlock this. We don't need to, though. That He was just giving me the first word, but we've already found another uh, word of it. So we can just equip this and then use Why it on him. Why do you do no! Are you Dover King? Ah, yes. Sosedo Vrostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sos, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Can you teach me the dragon wren shout? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Do you know Dragonrend or not? Krosis, sorrowfully, no. It cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. How can I learn it then? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this, Thum? I need to stop Alduin. Yes, Alduin, Zembach. The elder brother, gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? The prophecy says that only the Dragonborn can stop him. Mm, true, but Kostid, prophecy, tells what may be, not what should be. Kostid Salo Ak. Just because you can do a thing, does not always mean you should. 
Do you have no better reason for acting than destiny? Are you nothing but a plaything of Dez, of fate? I didn't come here to debate philosophy with you. <laughs> you have much to learn of the Dove, then. There is nothing else but philosophy to a Dova. It is no accident that we do battle with our Thum, our voices. There is no distinction between debate and combat to a dragon. Tinvak Loskra. For us, it is one and the same. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Krosis, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? You said you were going to answer my question. Drim, patience. I am answering in my way. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Sokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Using the Dragonrend shout, right? Mm, yes and no. Viknus Nikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Are you saying the ancient Nord sent Alduin forward in time? Hmm. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Meye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. How does any of this help me? Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend, from those who created it. I have the Elder Scroll. You have it. The Kel. The Elder Scroll. Tidkrech Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. There is no question. You are doom-driven. Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the Earth are at your disposal. Go then, fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the Time Wound. 
Do not delay. Alduin will be coming. He cannot miss the signs. All right. Now, before we fiddle with that, as many of you probably know, there's a little Easter egg at the top of this mountain, and hopefully we'll be able to scale it. Uh, I know it's really easy with a horse. One of the good things about the, uh, the Soul Cairn quest to getting Arvac is that you summon the horse. So you can summon the horse wherever you want. Like, we could summon him on the mountainside, and then we could use him to traverse mountains. That's the good thing about him. Uh, so we will hopefully do that at some point. But nevertheless, we've reached the top. And at the top is going to be... Oh, that was weird. Okay, the notched pickaxe, which is a unique weapon. I remember when this game came out, this was found very, very, very early on. Uh, it's pretty useless. Raises the wielder's smithing abilities and does five shock damage to enemies on hit. Oh, I don't remember the raises the wielder smithing abilities part. Uh, I think people have referenced this as a notch easter egg, the creator of Minecraft, because obviously the main thing you use in Minecraft is a pickaxe. It says notched uh, pickaxe, so I'm still not sure if that's true or not, but it is a unique weapon at the top of the throat of the world where we could mine some ebony ore and some malachite ore and maybe some other ore, but we're not concerned with mining. At the moment, we have a world to save. So let's head back down to where it's telling me to go to, right where all these sparkles are in the air. And we're going to go into our items, into books, and we're going to read the Elder Scroll Dragon. Lordship will be restored. But I honor your courage. Kreef Wolf Akrin, die now in vain. You know thought beyond the blooding of your blade. <laughs> what else is there? The battle below goes ill. If Aldun does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Alduin hang back? We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us even now? We blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone this day. But none have yet stood against Aldo and himself. Both Sori, Birko. They did not have Dragonrend. Once we bring him down, I promise, I will have his head. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why. I brought the Elder Scroll. Feldir, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. And if you are right, no, I will not need it. We will it. deal with Alduin ourselves. Here and now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches! Alduin ourselves. Here and now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. So be it. Me. Tarudis. Ah, me. Him hint palif. Zu hindan. Let those that watch from 
Sabengard envy us this day. Spirits have mercy on our souls. Unlucky Nakib, still is sure. My belly is full of the souls of your fellow mortals, Dovahkiin. Die now. And await your fate in Southern Guard. Lost foot, you are too late, Alduin. Dovahkiin, use Dragon Rand if you know it. Man, it had to be like in the date. I forgot we had to fight Alduin right after we learned that. Uh, so we don't have any stamina regeneration, but that's okay. We don't need the stamina regeneration. Let's go into shouts. Here we have Dragon Rend. One of the best shouts in the game, actually. really helps out with fighting dragons, because it works on any dragon. Your voice lashes out at a dragon's very soul, forcing the beast to land. Mortal, finite, temporary. Uh, so we're going to favorite that, because we're going to be using it a lot. We're going to grab it. Uh, and then we're also going to... Okay, so we're going to use it on him. We just need to wait for him to hover. <laughs> And now he's going to be forced to land and also relive the terror when he was first uh, struck with Dragon Rend. Uh, we're going to go into magic, we're going to go into powers, and we're going to grab Highborn. We're also going to grab Incinerate, we already have it. We're going to activate Highborn, and we are going to kill Alduin, who is doing a lot of damage, but luckily for us... Oh my god, he's doing a crazy amount of damage. Okay, let's grab fast healing. Okay, luckily for us, I was trying to say, uh, Parthenax is fighting with us as well. So we will grab Stone Flesh also. Wait for a Magicka to recharge. Dual cast that. Okay, and we can also use uh, Conjure. Not Conjure Dramora. Wait a second. Magic. Conjuration. Uh, we can unfavorite that and unfavorite that. And we want to favorite Storm Thrall. And then use that. We need to wait for a magic to recharge, of course. Okay, one. And we obviously have another one. We want to make use of our highborn before it's over. These are permanent storm atronax. Two. Okay, now we want to grab Dragon Rend again. If we can look at him. We need him to stay stationary. He's using some sort of ability where he's dropping fire all over the place as well. Okay, come on, Alduin. Like all dragons, you delay me the inevitable. And where's our other storm at? Okay, we do have two out. Good. 
Parthenax is trying to steal all my glory. We just need to hit Alduin, and we also need to grab Incinerate again. Okay, okay, okay. Hopefully that got him. I think so. Yes, he's glowing blue. I will not let him consume me. Do not worry. Just need him to land. There we go. All right, Storm Atronax. Do your thing, man. And we're going to keep using... Dragon Rend on Alduin, like right now. Every time our shout comes back, our fire doesn't seem to do any damage to him, which really sucks, but that's okay. Uh, our Storm Atronach DPS will be more than enough, I think. Let's use Dragon Rend one more time. Come on, one more time. But I am Alduin. Firstborn of Akatosh, Malagi Sokrat. I cannot be slain by you or anyone else. You cannot prevail against me. I will outlast you, mortal. Wow, and he's just gonna turn tail and run away with that tail between his legs. Very, very sad. Okay, we have a new quest, The Fallen. After I defeated Alduin on the top of the throne of the world, he fled from me. I need to locate his lair so I can finish him off once and for all. Talk to Parthenax, or talk to Arngear, or talk to Esbern. Well, Parthenax is here already. He seems to know the most out of everyone else. Lot Kongrach. You truly have the voice of a Dova. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. It wasn't really a victory since Alduin escaped. Ni livrach hin moro. True, this is not the final Krongra. Victory. But not even the heroes of old were able to defeat Alduin in open battle. Alduin always was Pachlok, arrogant in his power. Uznagar Par, he took domination as his birthright. This should shake the loyalty of the Dove who serve him. I need to find out where Alduin went. Yes, one of his allies could tell us. Mat Mahus, but it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Perhaps the Hafkasayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach. It was originally built to house a captive Dova. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? The Jarl of Whiterun might not think so. Hmm, yes. But your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Look, Thun. All right. Talk to the Jarl of Whiterun. That's interesting that it tells us to talk to Parthenax, Arngear, or Esbern, but then it puts Parthenax right next to you, and it immediately it immediately makes you talk to him if he is next to you. So it's kind of hard to go to Arngear or Esbern, and even if we were to, what's what's the point? I guess they're going to tell us the same thing, but I don't particularly like Esborn or Arngear. I like Parthenax the most out of all of them because he's the only one that knows anything, whereas these people are just trying to think that they know something. So, do I want to go to the Jarl of Whiterun, or do I want to do something else? We're obviously near the end of the episode here, and I was, I don't know exactly where we are because it sort of glitched out and Alduin wouldn't appear uh, when the heroes were looking at him, or were, when they said that he was coming. Either way... We're going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Be happy.